my channel. So as you can tell, I don't have any eyeshadow on. That is because I'm gonna be doing a eyeshadow testing video today. So if you saw from the title, I'm actually, I'm gonna be testing the new Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette that I picked up from the Morphe store yesterday. It launched yesterday the 13th, as I'm filming this, it's the 14th and it'll be up on the 15th. Did that make any sense? I am so excited to try it out. I haven't touched it yet. So this is gonna be a full first impressions video. Just trying out the colors, giving you some swatches, letting you know what the palette performs like and all that jazz. If this is the first time that you see me, then feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you also do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It does help. So without further ado, I'm just gonna roll onto the video. I'm not gonna talk like I normally do. I'm just gonna go into my review of the new Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. So let's go. Ah, I'm so, so excited. Gonna film this video last night. However, I was exhausted last night from work. I thought it's a Friday evening, it's Valentine's Day. Instead of spending time with my boyfriend, I'm gonna just sit here, play with makeup, my one true love. And I actually went to the Morphe store. I did get a free gift as well. I don't know if this includes online. When I went in, I actually got a free makeup bag as well. This actually retails at £12. Got it free for a limited time when you bought any Jaclyn Hill product that was over £25, I think it was, so got this for free. And then this is what the palette looks like. You've probably seen the outer cardboard a lot by now, so I'm not gonna go into detail about this outer packaging. I haven't even looked at this yet. <laughs> I have not been excited for a makeup launch in so long. So when you open the palette up, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take the screen thingy off. So as you can see, this is the full palette. It is absolutely stunning. Like I had the first Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe and that was one of my favorite. Or I think this one might trump it. Like this is just my color. That blue shade down there is literally called my name. When I saw this palette, I didn't realize that it had that dark blue shade. The amount of looks that you could do with this palette as well, I think that's what I love most about it. I am not the best at swatching at all, so I'll insert some pictures of the official swatches, but because I do want to swatch some on the video, because obviously like official swatches can sometimes be a little bit edited, I'm going to swatch a couple just on my hand. I'm really not the best at swatches, but I'm just going to swatch a couple that really stands out to me and that is like, you know one of those swatches when you go into the store and you swatch it that is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna swatch this vibrant purple color here which is the shade not my journey oh that was just swelled in like a tiny weeny bit as well oh i mean i'm also gonna swatch this maroon shade oh my god i was doing my makeup yesterday and i was looking for a maroon maroon shade and i couldn't find one so this is the shade crazy again this one on that finger. I swatched a lot better than the purple one, but that is good for a man. Sometimes you're scared that these colours aren't going to come out like the pan, but they're pretty similar. I think I'm just going to swatch one more because I want to kind of save the rest of my eyes because it's all about how it looks on the eyes really. So I'm going to swatch this blue one here, which I've been dying for. This is the shade Temp Temptress. <coughs> Oh my god. How matte that is. Like literally, I cannot see a single part of my skin. This is getting really exciting. Oh. Oh. I think this actually might be my favorite shade to ever exist in the existence of all makeup shades. Now I'm gonna go and apply it on my lid which I'm so excited about because I have about 10 billion ideas. To start off to prime my eyelids, I'm gonna use the P. Louise Base. This is in the shade 0.5. I use this every time I do my makeup, every time I use my eyeshadow, so I'm trying to make this as much of a fair review as possible, and then we'll get applied. Also just zoomed in so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so to apply my P. Louise Base, I just use this flat brush from Spectrum. This is the Spectrum A18 brush. I'm actually going to dip into the palette. I'm using some new brushes for this. I ordered some new Spectrum brushes. And you'll know that these are my favourite brushes to ever exist. The look that I'm going to do, I think I'm going to stay away from these like warm tone shades here. Because I'm just not a warm tone sort of gal anymore, I like more colour. So I think this is like my area of focus today. And then I'm going to dip into this 
dark blue shade down here. So I'm gonna do like a sort of purple look I'm thinking. Firstly I'm gonna take this deep purple, it's like a plum shade here. This is the shade Day True and I'm just gonna start by packing this into my crease. For this I'm gonna take the Spectrum A12 brush. Oh there's hardly any fallout on that as well. Oh wow. <gasps> That is such a pretty colour. I think me and this plum shade, we're going to get on well. I mean, it does need a little bit of building, but it's still really pigmented. Okay, so that's pretty much deepened up the crease. So next I'm going to take this purple, purple shade here, which is the one we swatched before. This is the shade Not My Journey, and I'm going to pack this on top of Stay True. This one, I'm going to take the Spectrum A07 brush. Oh, sorry. Okay, this shade had a little bit more fallout, but not that much. And also, fallout doesn't really bother me that much anyway. Okay, once again, it's clear how pigmented this shade is. And then next up, I'm gonna blend it out with this Therapy Sesh, which is this one here. So I'm just gonna pack this on top of Not My Journey, and then I'm gonna blend it out with a fluffy brush. Ooh, that is very vibrant, but vibrant is my thing, so we're good, we're living. And to blend that out, I'm just going to take the Spectrum B07 fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges very lightly. Look how nicely those colours have blended together as well. Okay, so I think I am... Um, just check it's recording. I think I'm going to dip back into that first shade, which was Stay True, and I'm just going to pack that back in just so it's still there and quite prominent because sometimes it can get lost when it blends with the other colours. So if I don't ruin it, this might actually be one of my favourite looks that I've ever done in my life, but I'm going to go for a good old cut crease. So once again, I'm going to take my P. Louise base in exactly the same shade and I'm going to cut my crease using the same Spectrum flat brush that I used to prime my lid. Now that the crease is cut, I'm going to take this gorgeous blue shade and I'm going to pack this on the outer corner to add a bit of depth, you know? Only because I just want to use it and I want to, I want to get it in there. Oh, there has been a bit of fallout on that black, as you can see. I'm just going to have to wipe that away. Normally this wouldn't be a problem because I do... Yeah, it's just kind of like all falling out there which is a little bit annoying but it happens i'll cover it up with like some concealer or something i don't know if i'm gonna completely ruin this look by doing this but you're just gonna have to bear with me i'm gonna take this bright yellow shade and pat this where i've cut the crease this is the shade no joke Maybe because yellow mattes really intrigue me and i know from the james charles palette it was insane so Oh, yep, as pigmented as I hoped it would be. I feel like this look looks more like a bumblebee every day, but it's fine. Obviously, if you don't want to use the yellow, there are loads of, like, gorgeous shimmer shades in there that I was actually going to use, but I'm a little bit extra, and I like to be a little bit extra. Obviously, it's up to you when you cut the crease which one you decide to use, but the yellow for me is just kind of a no-brainer and I'm actually kind of glad that I did it now. Okay, so I'm going to go on and do my lower lash line. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to take this shade here, which is Oh Hello, which is like this gorgeous maroon shade. And I'm going to take this on my Spectrum A16 brush. Also, before I forget, I'm just going to conceal this like black fallout which is currently like stained i mean you could still kind of see it but it's kind of like concealed it away so we'll just go with it i'm also going to take the vibrant purple shade that we use down here which is the shade not my journey and i'm going to pat this underneath oh hello just so that it blends in with the purple normally i just take a fluffy blending brush and i just blend 
this corner here. For inner corner, nearly forgot. I'm probably going to take this gorgeous shimmer here. This is one shimmer that you could have taken instead of the yellow. Um, but this is called I'm In It. And I'm just going to take this on my inner corner. Well, I can confirm that that is a really nice shimmer. Okay, so now that the main bit of the eye look is done, I'm actually going to go off camera and do my lashes because otherwise I'll get under pressure and it just won't work. So I'm going to go off camera, do my lashes, and then I'll be right back to apply mascara and finish off the look. Okay, so as you can see, I've currently put lipstick on my lips and now I'm going to go for mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use my current favourite at the moment. This is the Revolution Big Lash Mascara. Also, my lashes are the Eyelore in the shade Grand Glamour. They're in savers at the moment for like $1.99, hence why I got them. But they're actually quite nice. They're pretty full as well, so, you know. Okay, and this is the finished look. So, overall, my thoughts on this palette is so worth the hype. Like, I was so excited for it. I loved the first one. Would I say this was better than the first one? Definitely. I think the shades are formulated a lot better. I feel like they're a lot creamier. I feel like they apply a lot better. The pigment is definitely there. And also the colours are just me. Like this is pretty much, if you were des to describe me in a palette, this would be it. So I'm absolutely chuffed with this. I forgot to mention it does also retail at £39. I bought this in the Morphe store, so as far as I know, they're available in Morphe stores now. Definitely available online. Don't use my code at the checkout, because I don't have one. You're not limited to just one look, and for £39, for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 shades for £39, with a formula as good as this is pretty much a no-brainer. So I really hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to smash it. Big massive thumbs up. And also feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also make sure you do tap the bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. I'll also be posting up close makeup pictures of this look on my Instagram. And I do also post other makeup pictures on my Instagram as well. So if you want to follow me over there, then I'll leave my Instagram here for you if you want to give me a follow. Once again, thank you so incredibly much for watching. I really hope that you did find this video helpful and hopefully I'll see you on my next video very, very soon. Bye.